The Olubaka in Council was led to the governor's office by Oba Yusuf Adibori Adileye on a condolence visit following the death of former governor Oluwaru Timiakire Dolu. The monarch, in his address titled Uneasy Lies the Head that Wears the Crown, said death is a phenomenon and a terminal debt that must be paid by everyone. He described the death of the former governor as a huge loss. Sorry for your loss, our loss. But the sun shall rise and shine again in London say to you, let's trudge on despite the odds. Uneasy lies the head that we are the crown. But true soldier, don't avoid battlefield. Let's brave the situation and together live the common dream of good governance, equity, justice, peace. Progress. The monarch prayed for divine guidance for Governor Aida Chiwa and pledged the support of Oka community and his people for the present administration. Governor Loki Aida Chiwa, who appreciated the people for the visit, said his late boss was a man of different parts to different people, noting that his impacts will not be forgotten, not only in Ondo State, but the Southwest region and the country at large. The man who whose impact you know, those state as a governor cannot be forgotten easily, especially in the area of security of lives and property. With the security architecture he pursued and established, not just in those state, but the southwest region of Nigeria, the Amor Temple. And all the initiative that he put in place to make life better for our people. A state man, he, he believes in the f true federalism and, uh, you know, <coughs> and, and our constitution. Anytime policies are to our decisions are to be made and policy rolled out, and uh, he will not keep quiet if the right thing is not done because he will speak, and when he speaks, the whole nation. It's always at, att at attention. So, he's a Nigerian to the core. I will only pray that God will grant his soul the rest. Aida Chiwa, who promised not to abandon the legacies of the deceased, said he will be sorely missed and celebrated. It takes away the days that um, he lived a purposeful life with all that he has been able to achieve while he was here on earth. And uh, we cannot but also celebrate him because he died in service to humanity, especially the people of Ondo State. While in office as governor, the first of his kind in Ondo State. So we deserve a state burial. And that is exactly what we will give him. The governor solicited the support of the people for his administration, reaffirming his passion to grow every sector of the state's economy while making life more abundant for residents. Wahab Bankoli, OSRCNL.